Hello and welcome to vmslounge.com. How do you like your Mediterranean food? Because in this video we are discussing Qatar. And Qatar is essentially a country in the Middle East. This is where this is located. Although I must say that we just said Mediterranean food and tried to connect it with Qatar. But essentially the borders of Qatar are with Persian Gulf and not the Mediterranean Sea because the Mediterranean Sea is somewhere here. This is where the Mediterranean Sea is. It borders Africa, parts of Asia and Europe. But here what Qatar borders is known as the Persian Gulf or the Arabian Gulf. Anyways, Doha is the capital of Qatar. A bit of a geography exercise as well here as we discuss some of these different countries while going over the PMI report, which is the salary survey report, all copyrights acknowledged, no copyright infringement intended. In this video, we'll cover what you as a project manager can expect to earn in Qatar. If you are someone working in the project management industry, right, what can you expect to make? You might be a PMP certified professional. You might have some other educational qualifications. What kind of industry should you work for? What kind of departments you should work for? What should be your education level? All that questions will be answered as we go over salaries in this Middle Eastern country known as Qatar. Now, all the numbers that you're going to see are going to be in Qatari Riyals, which is a little over 3.5 Qatari Riyals when it comes to one US dollars. So one US dollars is equal to 3.64 Qatari Riyals. That is the current rate, right? So let's take a look at the numbers. And before we go there, I'd like to remind you that we've done videos on several other countries as well. So check out the first link in the description below if you want to go over a specific country. We are all about PMP. We are all about project management. So definitely subscribe for more content like this. All right. So Qatar, what is the salary that you can expect? And this is a median number because median is closest to reality. This is in Qatari Riyals and this is an annual figure. So 252,000 Qatari Riyals annual. That is the kind of salary you can expect. Total compensation, which may include some bonuses, some additional salary components that comes out to be 295,000 Qatari Riyals. Now, how has the last 12 months been? 63% people working in the project management industry noted that their salary remained the same in the last 12 months. But 18% said that their salary actually decreased in the last 12 months. And that is really bad news. If you can see the number for folks that got a hike, it is very, very less. So when it comes to salary hikes and salary raises, Qatar is definitely not a country that should be on your list. But how does the next 12 months look like? 46% think that their salary is going to remain the same. 6% think that their salary is going to decrease again. But there's a good 12% number who think that they are going to receive a hike of 10 to 14.9%, 10 to 15% almost, right? So there is definitely hope for the next 12 months for sure. What will be your salary by position description? As you climb the ladder of the project management career, you will see that your salary is also going to rise. The highest is of course at the top, the director of PMO. He or she is the one who's making the most with 350,000 Qatari Riyals annual. Annualized salary by years of work experience and annualized salary by years worked in project management. All these are going to rise as the number of years increase. You will see a rise in your salary. That is pretty much common and standard across the board in all countries. Annualized salary by highest formal education level obtained. And this is where I told you that you will get answer to questions like what should be your education level to be able to make the most. So if you have a master's degree, you are going to be making more than someone with a four year college degree. They do not have any data for other degrees, high school degrees, even doctoral degrees. So it's safe to assume that if you are in Qatar or if you plan to go there, having a master's degree will help you make the most. Should you have a degree in project management specifically? Not really, because if you don't have a degree in project management, you might make more than someone who has a degree in project management. 
So aim for maybe a management degree or an engineering degree, which is going to be your master's degree, not a degree specific in project management. In fact, you don't even need a PMP certification. If someone has a PMP certification, there are chances that they are making less than someone who does not have a PMP certification. And this is most likely the only country that we have seen so far where having a PMP certification is actually a disadvantage. All right, let's talk about the pay gap and the pay gap is not as big here, which is a good thing. Males are making more than females, but as you can see, the pay gap is significantly less than some of the other countries that we have seen. Even European countries have higher pay gaps than what we see here in Qatar. Analyze salary by department. What kind of departments should you target to be able to make the most? Administration, general management, this stands on top, followed by project management department or the PMO, the project management office, followed by operations or manufacturing. These are the kind of departments that pay the most to the project management professionals. Analyze salary by industry. What kind of industry should you target? Resources. Now, we all know that Qatar is a Middle Eastern country, so obviously, uh, when it comes to petroleum, there will be a lot of resources there. And this is the industry that is paying the most followed by information technology and that is followed by consulting. So these are the kind of industries that you can target to be able to make the most. Now, what should be the size of the organization that you should work for to be able to make the most? And this is where clearly large organizations take the cake. They are the ones who are paying the most, not your startups, not your mid-level organizations go for as large company as you can find. Analyze salary by average project team size and analyze salary by average project budget as these two increases, as your team size increases, as the budget of your project increases, you can expect that your salary is also going to rise. All right, let's talk finally about the work culture and that is what is the hours that you are expected to work. Everyone's expected to work a little over 40 hours, right? A little less than 48 hours, I must say, because everyone's expected to work almost five and a half days. But people report working over 50 hours. So this is something to be noted. People in Qatar who are working in the project management industry are actually working much more than even six days a week. So people might be a bit overworked there. So that's something to note if you are in Qatar, if you are trying to move there. So that's all that we had in this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you want us to cover any specific country, let me know in the comments or check out the first link in the description, which already has many of the countries that we have covered so far. Thank you and have a nice day.